Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss VIP questions chapter 4, Frosts. Questions number 1, figure 1 shows a 490 Newton frost at on the stationary, the 31 kg box, okay, lying on the rough surface, so meaning that here we have the frictional force. After frost second, the speed of the box is 3.5 meter per second, calculate the frictional force on the box. Okay, so the information we have here, we have the, uh, the force acting, so this force actually is the external force, we must catch first the free body diagram, okay, so here we have the normal force and here mg is acting downward. Okay, so since the external force is pushing to the right, meaning that the frictional force will acting to the left. Okay, so the free body diagram here is normal force. We have mg, we have frictional force, and also we have f external. Okay, where the angle is equal to thirty five degree. So for this part, we actually we want to find the frictional force. So we use f x equals to m a because f is in x component. So because the external force is pushing to the right, so the motion is to the right. Okay, so any force acting to the right is positive. Where F external, we can resolve it into to the right and going down. Okay, so since it's to the right, so it's positive. So F external cos 35 minus friction because friction is opposite direction with the motion is equal to MA. So we substitute F external is 490 cos 35. Friction is the force that we want to find equals to M. So the mass of the, the box is 31, 8. Okay, so we need to find A first uh, before we can get the frictional force. Okay, A is acceleration. So we can use the information given where initially it's stationary. So U is equal to 0, T is equal to 4 seconds, and V is equal to 3.5 meter per second. So we can use A equals to V minus U over T to find the acceleration where V is equal to 3.5, U is equal to 0, T is equal to 4. Okay, so the acceleration that we will get is equal to 0 0.875 meter per second squared. So we substitute into the equations where the frictional force is equals to 490 cos 35 minus 31a where a is equal to 0 0.875 so the frictional force that we will get is equal to 374.26 newton okay so this is questions number one the answer is donkey okay we go to questions number two okay questions number two figure two show a stationary block p tied to a hanging block q the weight of the block p is 19 newton so they give you the weight not the mass huh? and the coefficients of the static frictions meaning that here we have the frictional force and the coefficient is 0 0.2 assume that the pulley is smooth and the light string is light calculate the mass of the block q okay so before you want to find the mass of the block q you must draw the free body diagram first where for p we have the normal force tension we have mg and also there is a frictional force okay and for Block Q, there is a tension acting upward and also MG is acting downward. Okay, so that we can construct uh, three equations. Uh, the first equation is from P, uh, where P we have X and Y components. So we can write FX is equal to MA, where A is equal to zero because it initially is stationary. And um, FX here is equal to tension minus friction is equal to MA. So therefore, our tension is equal to friction and also equal to mu N. Okay, so this is our first equation. The second equation is Fy equals to Ma for block P, where A also equals to zero. So for Fy equals to Ma, the normal force will equal to Mg. Okay, so we can substitute into the equation where tension is equal to mu is equal to 0 0.2 and N is equal to Mg, okay, or equal to weight. So the weight for block P is equal to 19. So we can straight away substitute 19 here because we know that mg is equal to 19 newton here. So the tension that we will get is equal to 3.8 newton. Okay, so next we go to uh, block Q. Okay, so block Q only one equation because only involve y components. So fy equals to ma and also a equals to 0. Okay, because it's stationary. So t will equal to mg. Okay, so t here for block P and also for block Q actually they are referring to the same tension eh, because they are in the same string so therefore tension is equal to 3.8 M is the value that we want to find G is equal to 9.81 so mass of Q is equal to 0 0.387 kg okay so the answer is equals to C okay the answer is C Okay, next one, we will go to the next question, question number 3. Figure 3 shows the 23 kg load okay, is held in the equilibrium by the rods. Equilibrium meaning that it's balanced. So PQ is fastened to the ceiling and the wall respectively. Calculate the tension. Need to draw a free body diagram where here is tension for Q, this is the tension for P and this is MG. 
Okay, so we need to find the tension. Okay, so I draw out the free body diagram first. Okay, tension Q. This is the MG. And this is tension P, where the angle here is 57 degree eh, because it's zigzag. Eh? Okay, so this is 57 degree. Okay, so from the free body diagram, we know that there is a two uh, equations we can form. The first one is Fx equals to MA. Okay, where for x component, a is equal to 0 because the question state is equilibrium. Okay, so tension for Q is equal to tension at P cos 57 degree. Okay, so this is the first equation we can form. The second equation is for Y component. Eh? So Y component, Fy equals to MA and A also equals to 0. Therefore, our tension for P for Y component is tension P sine 57 degree is equal to MG. Okay, so TP, we don't know, sine 57 equals to M. Eh? M is 23 kg times 9.81. Okay, so therefore TP, tension at point P, is equal to 269 Newton. Okay, so we substitute back into equation 1. So equation 1, where tension at Q is equal to tension at P cos 57 degree. So we substitute TP 269 cos 57 degree so TQ you will get 146.5 Newton okay so the answer for TP is 269 and TQ is 100 okay so the answer is C okay so the answer is C okay next we go to questions number 5 the two wooden blocks Q and R of the masses 2 kg and 1.5 kg respectively are on a smooth table. A force of 7 Newton acts on the block Q so that both blocks accelerate together. What is the magnitude of the reaction force acting between block Q and also R? Okay, so meaning that Q and R are, there's a contact surface. Okay, so meaning that we have the reaction force between Q and also R. Okay, so if we are referring to R, meaning that Q is acting at this direction. So we label as the reaction force. Q is reacting on R. Okay, if you're referring to block Q, so our reaction force is R reacted on Q. Okay, so it depends on what other uh, block that you want to refer. Okay, so if let's say we are referring to Q, Q meaning that we have force external where is equal to 7 Newton, we have normal force, we have Mg, and also we have the reaction force R acting on Q. Okay, so this is for block Q. If you're referring to block R, we have the normal force, we have Mg, and also we have the reaction force acting by the Q on R. Okay, so actually R, the reaction force R on Q actually is equal to the reaction force acting on Q on R. Okay, the magnitude actually is the same, it's just that the direction is opposite. Okay, so negative means it's opposite direction, but the magnitude for both reaction force are the same. Okay, so now we want to find the reaction force. So what should we do here is uh, we can construct an equation for the whole system. Okay, for the whole system, we know that F net, F net, equals to MA, where for the whole system, force acting only our F external, 7 Newton. And for the whole system, mass is equal to 2 kg plus 1.5 kg times the acceleration. Okay, so acceleration is equal to 7 over 3.5. So therefore, the acceleration is equal to 2 meter per second squared. Okay, so now we want to find RQR or R, RQ, or the reaction force. Okay, so if you want to use block R, we can form equations FX equals to MA because R reaction force is X component. Okay, so for block R, our Fx is only R, the reaction force, okay, and is equal to MA. Okay, M is 1.5, A is equal to 2. So you will get 3 Newton. Okay, if you don't want to use block R, we also can use block Q, where Fx equals to MA. Okay, so since the motion is to the right, meaning that F external minus R, the reaction force equals to MA. So F external is 7 minus R. So for block Q, M is 2, A is also 2. Okay, so the reaction force R on Q is equal to 7 minus 4. So you will get 3 Newton as well. Okay, so either you can use block P to find or you can use block Q to find. Okay, so the answer here is actually B. Okay, next one, we will go to the next question. If there is no net force, huh? no net force acting on the object, meaning that the F net is equal to 0. Okay, so F net equals to 0, meaning that a is equal to 0 or V is equal to 0 or V is constant. Okay, so the answer is all of above, huh? meaning that all correct. The answer is donkey. Okay, next we go to questions number 6. Huh? 
a 3 kg cube is placed on a rough plane. So rough plane meaning that we have frictional force. Okay, the plane is then slowly tight until the cube starts to move from the rest. This occurs when the angle is, inclination is 25 degree. Calculate the static frictional force between the cube and the rough plane. Okay, so we need to uh, draw the free body diagram first. Okay, for this cube, we have mg, we have the normal force, okay, and also frictional force. Okay, so the frictional force is actually opposed to the motion because if let's say we increase the we increase the inclined plane, the block will go going downward. Okay, so the frictional force will going upward, opposed the direction. Okay, so we can draw the free body diagram. Okay, here, where here we have the normal force, we have the frictional force, and also we have mg that is acting straight downward. Okay, so here we can form two equations. The first equation is fx equals to ma, where for x component, okay, we can resolve our mg first, huh? where if we resolve it, where component, you will get mg cos 25. For x component, if you resolve, you get mg sine 25. Okay, so this is mg cos 25. And here will be mg sine 25 degree. Yeah? Angle is 25 degree. Okay, so what should we do is we can uh, form an equation fx equals to ma. So since uh, it's equilibrium, okay, because initially it's at rest, so we know that a is equal to 0. Therefore, mg sine 25 degree. Okay, minus friction is equal to zero. Therefore, the frictional force is equal to mg sine 25 degree. Okay, so we substitute m is equal to 3, g is 9.81, sine 25 degree. So the frictional force, we will get 12.44 Newton. Okay, so the answer here is equal to B. Okay, last questions. Block A and B, masses 3.5 kg and 2 kg respectively are connected with the latch string across the spoof pulley as shown in figure 5. When T equals to zero, Block A is pulled by 30 Newton force. Okay, so this 30 Newton force is actually is our external force. The coefficients of the kinetic frictions between the block and also the table is 0.2, uh, meaning the mu is equal to 0.2. Okay, calculate the accelerations of both blocks. Okay, so since here there is external force pulling the block to the left, meaning that the motion later is, is to the left and block B, the motion is going upward. Okay, so before we find the accelerations, we need to draw the fit free body diagram first. For block A, the free body diagram for block A is normal force mg tension okay f external and remember that is also a frictional force huh? so since the motion is to the left meaning that the frictional force is to the right okay so here we have another frictional force okay so for block a there is a two equations that we can form okay the first one is fx equals to ma okay where the motion is to the left huh? meaning any force that acting to the left is positive any force that acting to the right is negative so the first equations that we can form is f external for x exit where the angle here is equal to 30 degree so f external cos 30 minus tension minus friction equals to ma where a is not equal to zero okay so we substitute 30 cos 30 minus tension minus friction equals to 3.5 a yeah? 3.5 is the mass of block a okay so tension here will equal to 30 cos 30 and then minus friction minus 3.5 a okay so this is our first equations Okay, second equation that we can form is y component for block A where A is equal to 0 because y component for block A is equal to 0 it's not moving up or down okay so here meaning that uh, f external for y exit is sine 30 plus normal force acting upward okay minus mg is equal to 0 or we can write it as f external sine 30 plus normal minus mg okay Therefore, our normal force, we can write it as mg minus f external sine 30 degree. Okay, so we substitute 3.5 times 9.81 minus 30 sine 30 degree. So the normal force, we will get 19.335 Newton. Okay, so we can substitute the n into the equation where t equals to 30 cos 30. And we know that the frictional force is equal to mu m. So we can write it as mu, okay, I calculate here, f is equal to mu m mu is equal to 0 0.2, n is 19.335. Okay, so we can get our frictional force equals to 3.867 Newton. Okay, so we substitute inside here, 3.867 Newton minus 3.18. Okay, so this is our first equation. Where these equations, we have two unknown. The first one is tension, the second one is acceleration. Okay, next, we go to block B. Okay, block B, we only can form one equation because it only involves one component. So I will write Fy equals to Ma for block B, where the motion is going upward, meaning that tension minus mg is equal to ma okay so our tension is equal to m for uh, block b just now it's 2 kg so it's 2a plus 2g 9.81 so this is the second equation okay substitute equation 1 into equation 2 where 30 cos 30 minus 3.867 minus 3.5a 
equal to 2a plus 2 times 9.81 okay so therefore our acceleration 5.5 .5 acceleration a is equal to 2.493 and acceleration a will equal to 2.493 over 5.5 .5. So the answer is 0 0.45 meter per second squared. Okay, so the answer is donkey. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you. See you on next video. Bye.